So you just bought a kit off, off eBay? Yeah, bro, how much was the kit back then? 50 pound, bro. Yeah? My machine now is 1,200 pound. <laughs> okay, just right, Just for my right. machine. So like, times have changed, but yeah. at the time, they did the job for me, just doing little tattoos and stuff, earning a little 20 pound, 30 pound, 50 pound, then they added up, you know? Everyone was coming to me because I was cheap. But you know, you got to elevate, you can't stay at the same level forever. Yeah, for so, real. Yeah, fifty pound tattoo could change my life, and I'm I'm known for an orange pill. So I tattooed an orange pill yeah. that says love, and then I put like that compared to what I do now as a comparison, and it went crazy on Twitter. Okay, right. So if you know me, yeah. for years you know about the orange pill. Okay, okay, definitely. definitely how, sure. So all right, so you grab a tattoo kit, and how how do you practice? How do you kind of get started? Um, I practiced on fake skin, like I said, an uh, orange pill or orange. I used the melon. I didn't use like pig skin like some people suggest. Oh, right. I just didn't touch that. I just did line work on fake skin and stuff. Um, and I tatted myself. Um, I tatted a star on my leg. I covered that now. I've tatted my forearm. And then just tatted people in the area, really. You know? And then just worked up from there. I went and got tatted by like more experienced artists yeah. to learn. So I saved up my money, paid the money. So every time I'm there, I'm just learning and learning and learning, right? So, yeah, that was... That was the key key for me to get tired about artists to learn. That's so, good, yeah. Yeah. So if you're just starting out and it's like you you want to do practice, mm -hmm. who do you, who do you kind of how do you start getting clients? Because obviously people might not trust that you. No, of course. You know, of years course. ago, obviously, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Back then it was like word of mouth, just posting stuff on my Instagram, or Snapchat, um, just me practicing, and then someone would be like, oh yeah, come, like you can do it on me. A yeah. lot of people like was like, yeah, bro, just use me, like just guinea pig, boom, boom, boom. All oh, right, I see you. You know, I've, I've covered some of my old work. I still see some of my old work. Some people still love it. Some people hate it. Yeah. It's just how it goes. But definitely, that's the way I did it. Definitely. So, could you always draw? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'd say it's perfected over the years compared yeah. to, like, back then. But, yeah, I've always had an artistic artistic view on things, so. Okay, right. So. But you you knew this is what you wanted from, from a young age? Yeah, from 14. Just never looked back. Damn. I, like, I've even had my name tried to be tarnished in the ends for doing tattoos but I just didn't let it break me mm. I know I wasn't I know I didn't mess up yeah um, I didn't let it break me it could have broke me and I said nah forget it but it didn't break me I carried on soldiered through it you know life's about you know hurdles you gotta jump, yeah. jump over them for sure definitely. no definitely um, have you ever messed up a tattoo yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah I've misspelled <laughs> but you know, oh serious yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a learning curve <laughs> yeah, though, right? yeah, yeah. it's like before I was like banging up tattoos. Now it's like, all right, cool. Take my time, yeah. you read over it. Your friend reads over it, or my colleague reads over it, making sure everything's felt right, Yeah. you know? Um, I've done ones where like, I've stuck it on and I've realized, oh, sugar, like we spelled something wrong. I need to change it. But I haven't tattooed it yet. Oh, right, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. had that as well. That's all right, yeah. Um, but now, as, obviously, as time goes on, you learn. Yeah, no one makes mistakes, mm. you know? Um, you're only gonna get better if you practice. No, just, true. If you don't, if you just get to one hurdle, you can't pass it, you're never going to elevate. So it's, it's very important to just soldier through the failures, for sure. If a young person wants to start out as a tattoo artist and they want to kind of see it as a career, what, what would your advice be? Where, where do they start? The same place you did? Um, I'd say, like, if they can get an apprenticeship, get an apprenticeship. Okay, right. Um, it does help and push you a lot more. I didn't really have help. So I had to do everything on my own. Mm. I don't regret it, it made me who I am, but having yeah. an apprenticeship is definitely important, especially if they're willing to help you and they don't uh, try to take advantage of you. Mm. Very important to have an apprenticeship. Because then you just, you're around so much artists that have different styles. You can learn, you can say, no, I don't like line work, I want to do shading. Mm. I'd rather do shading, realism. It's just to have that surrounding is good. So I'd say definitely an apprenticeship to go for. Um, and just art for advice from other artists. Some artists are like, don't want to give it. Some artists do. Um, but I'd say like, save up and get tattooed by more experienced artists. Mm. Just so you can learn. Like, you never know what you can learn, man. I've learned so much. Like, I get tattooed yeah. by artists and I'm just like, how far out, how far out have you got your needle? Like, what technique are you using? I do that 11 years in. Yeah. Always trying new techniques to better myself. You know, trying to learn new things for sure. So I'd say definitely an apprenticeship though. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. But where, where can you find apprenticeships? It's Is it colleges or? Nah, it's just literally walking into the studio. Oh, right, right. Or, you know, work, uh, knowing someone that's in there, coming with a portfolio, um, 
Mainly that really, it's not easy to just get into, be real. That's why a lot of people do it on their own. That's why I did it on my own. Because I mm. went to someone and they wanted to charge me £1,500 to learn. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I had like £10 in my name. Yeah. Maybe even the £50 to buy the kit, that's all I had. So yeah. I couldn't learn. But it's crazy because as years went on, I've covered his work. So I don't do cover-ups <laughs> no more, just FYI. But I've covered his work. 